What's going on, everybody? Another PSA video. I know three in one week. That's how quick they've been popping. So just to give you guys the dates on this one here, it arrived at PSA March 29th. It got entered in or research and ID April 5th. Delivered today, which is May 4th. Be with you out there. Yeah, I'd make a stupid joke about it. All right, so like I said, a little over a month on this one offhand, maybe five weeks, five weeks, couple days. I don't know without doing a quick math onto it, but really, really quick. This was a bulk nineteen dollars submission. I only had five cards in it, as you guys remember from the last video. I only had one PSA nine. The rest are all tens. My nine alone, the playbook Trevor Lawrence mosaic rookie PSA nine. Going around 50, I'd say 55, maybe 60 high right now. Pretty cool looking card. Um, of course, we're always hoping for those 10s, but I'd take a 9. Um, but I got nothing in this card pretty much whatsoever, minus probably the shipping there and back. So, you know, just call it all 21 with uh, shipping and grading fees on to it. So, pretty cool. Actually, I believe this card was in that collection I picked up now that I think about it too. All right, pick this up for ten dollars a show. Josh Giddy, red, white, and blue came back PSA ten, selling around fifty fifty five dollars as well too. So on this one here, we're in for about thirty one dollars. Still got a little profit to make on to it, not bad whatsoever. This here, I couldn't really find anything on to it. I'm guessing it's around the forty fifty dollar mark as well too. Paid, I think it was six dollars. For the Sangoon Orange Flash Prism, pretty good price onto it. So six plus, you know, the 21, 27 into it. Hey, I know it's not big profits, guys, but profits profit in my book when I look at it at the end of the year. So not bad, not bad, not bad. Next one, uh, I think raw these were selling for like eight, nine bucks. It was in a big package deal, so I'm guessing I probably paid five dollars for it. But Cam Reddish, Fast Break, Auto from Mosaic, PSA 10. I think the last one I seen did 35. So, again, not really big, huge profits on to it, but at $26, make, you know, six, seven bucks after uh, fees on eBay on it whenever I decide to put it up or, you know, wherever. But definitely, definitely getting good grades um, going over cards. This one here is probably the biggest out of them all. Trey Lance, second year mosaic. This is the orange fluorescent. It is numbered out of 25. Came back PSA 10. Raw sale was at 75. So I'm guessing we'll just double it about 150. <coughs> That's realistic. I mean, to be honest, unless this dude starts spiking even more, maybe 200. But happy with that overall. I got this at the time for 30, I want to say, maybe $35. So, biggest card I put in the order overall. Um, I, I know we had, it was like a, you had to have 20 card minimum for 19. So, I threw, well, originally it was just supposed to be these two to get graded. And I threw these in just to make sure we went over the limit onto it. Um, really happy, though, with the results offhand onto it. What was it? Just two football in that one, three basketball. So, I will say, for me, PSA is pumping out. Um, like I said, there was an order that went in April 5th. That one got research ID April 11th. It was shipped on the 27th. That was a real quick one. I think that was the one where I had like six cards in. And then the one yesterday was entered in April 12th. Or I'm sorry, arrived on April 12th. Entered in April 17th and shipped out on May 1st. So that, that one was really, really quick. That was the one we did uh, yesterday in the video. I know there was a comment on there about how I'm getting done so quick. I don't know. I just send my stuff in lower. I try to keep all my orders under 30 cards because I'm just used to this old warehouse way, how they do batches. And, uh, you know, when you start asking for bigger orders, your your cards might get pushed in a later batch. I don't know if PSA does this. Like I said, this is from old warehouse days, like back in 15. I know. Ancient for some of us. But, um... That's how they end up doing it. And all these small orders get pieced up on the newer orders just to, you know, block out that whole piece. Maybe that's how I'm getting lucky. I, I don't know. I did, My rule of thumb is always try to get 30 or less when I send it out. But that's just me. Better than that, guys. 
Always appreciate you guys watching the video. Take care. Have a good one. See you next one.